Hey traders, Richard here from Ninja Caters with a quick video showing you one of my favorite Ninja Trader 8 features. Right, the feature I want to be showing you guys today is called the Drawing Tool Tile. Now, before I show you that, are you probably familiar with how to apply a drawing tool to your chart? You'll have to go to the top here, click on this little uh, pencil icon, left click, and then you'll be presented with a quite extensive list of various different drawing tools. You can then go ahead click one of them and then apply it to your chart. Now, I use drawing tools quite a bit. I love using market geometry to analyze the markets. And there's a very specific set of drawing tools I use over and over. So rather than clicking on this icon on the top there, going through this list, it can be quite time consuming. Sometimes I forget where the actual tool is I want to be using. And it wastes a little bit of time for me doing that, especially because I use drawing tools quite often. Now the other way you can do this is click on your chart, right click, head on over to indicators. So although this is a drawing tool feature, it is applied as an actual indicator. Then you go under your indicator window, under your available column, you scroll down until you find the drawing tool tile window. You can go ahead, double click on that, and then it will add it to the configured window in the bottom here. And on the right hand side under the properties you have all the different parameters that you can go change around as well as the actual drawing tools that you can select uh, that you want to feature within the, the drawing tool tile. Now I'll go through this again. I'm just going to quickly uh, click OK. And you see here it is applied already. Now all of those selected drawing tools that was available in the configuration window um, for me personally are these tools that I love using include just normal lines, uh, trend lines, rays, uh, could be arrows, fib extensions, retracements, uh, pitchforks and channels and so forth. So anyway you can basically go and select any of those tools that's also included in this list and it will appear in that window. So again let's quickly head over to the configuration window and if you go to the right hand side here, you see I've got my rows set to 10. Now, if I had to change that to 5, you'll see it'll make it a bit more squarer. So these rows basically just refer to the amount of rows from top to bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. By default, I think it's set to 5. I like mine to be 10. And basically makes it a bit more skinnier on the left hand side. So it doesn't take too much of my chart space away. All right. And very simply, like I mentioned, just go to the drawing tool drop down arrow here and go ahead and click all the different tools that you like to see. And you just hit that. And as you basically place them, let's put another one in here. Let's go again, fan, for example. We hit apply. And you see it's been added to the bottom here. Right? I don't use that too often, so I can just unclick it, apply, and it will disappear. Right, so you've got to open one of these or load as an indicator these drawing tool tiles onto each uh, chart that you basically open. But if you want to have it show the same tools over and over again on all the charts you work on, you can just go to template, hit save, and you can save it as a default. And once you've done that, every single time you load it to your chart again as an indicator again, it will pop up with your pre-selected uh, drawing tools that you like using over and over. So a very, very simple tool makes things way faster rather than going through the actual drop down menu here by the drawing tool symbol. You can drag it around wherever you want it on your chart. And again, just uh, basically hit it, start drawing. Very, very simple. One of my favorite tools I like using. And yeah, just a quick demo of how to use it. I hope you found some benefit um, in this video. Uh, if this, you always wondered how some guys get their charts to look like this or actually show this drawing tool tile, then that's how it's done. Very easy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Cheers.